we're going into the desert of death, it's going to be really hard on the team, but it's going to be even harder on the vehicles. There it is. Hey, look how jacked up it is. It's got adventure written all over it. This particular truck I chose because it has no electronics. It's a wind-up window. The fuel injection system is a simple old mechanical pump. That's what we want. We can fix it in the middle of nowhere. Look at the beast. It's a 4.2 six-cylinder. Uh, it's a diesel. This is a very, very dangerous environment we're going into. My biggest worry is blowing the engine or um, ending up rolling the car, which would be an absolute disaster. We've got people's lives at stake, so we put a roll cage in, which is something to give a lot of strength if any of the accidents happened. We've operated the suspension using very heavy-duty shock absorbers and springs, so just to increase the ground clearance. We've got a lot of weight we're putting in the vehicles. The vast distances we have to cover mean that we've got to carry an awful lot of extra fuel and an awful lot of water, you know, huge amounts of water. You know, sometimes you call it like a fifth of a tonne of water just in this car. We have very, very strong all-terrain tyres because it's not just soft sand we're driving across. There's very sharp, angular rocks. There's gravel tracks. So it's a complete mix of sort of a surface we're travelling over. In the sand, the tyre pressures are going to have to be lowered. We've got to actually get these vehicles so they will plane along the sand. That thick sand that sort of eats away and sucks you down into it, we can't afford that. So we will lower these tyre pressures. How much you lower it, that's the key point. And if you get too little pressure in the tyres, you risk the tyres coming off the rims. Too much, you get stuck. I cannot believe the punishment this engine's going to get yeah. just on this sort of two or three hour leg of the journey. I mean, it's brutal. In this heat, see how this will be torched on the engine. We're at 2,500 revs most of the time, if not 3,500. It's um, something we've been warned about just to keep an eye on the, the engine temp. The biggest risk, I think, is actually overheating the engine. You're pushing the vehicles to huge extremes. Well, look, what we're going to do is just test this sort of temperature of the engine bay. This is going to be incredibly hot. So we've just topped 80 degrees. Just measuring the air temperature in the engine bay here. That's really hot. And inside that engine is a lot hotter. You can be sure of that. The route we're taking through this desert, not even the silk traders would actually take it. It was just too extreme and, and actually far too dangerous. So these vehicles have to keep moving. It's so, so critical. When we go into this, into the Takamakan Desert, the only way that we're coming out, whether that's injured or safe, is in those vehicles. One way in, one way out. There's no support, no helicopters, no backup.